morning, guys. I want to talk to you today about the hour that we're living in. Nothing hiding. God's exposing and he's revealing. It's a revelation. Great time, actually. Here's some scriptures, and then we're just going to kind of dive into this. The other one, no more, nothing hidden, is already out there, but this was a scripture that I got. It's 1 Corinthians 4 and 5 about how he's going to come and judge and expose. But it's also going to be revealing. But the end of it, that same scripture, it's a very short scripture, but the end of it is that we're going to rejoice. So, <clears throat> let's break down, this is 1 Peter 4 and 5, that we're going to be kept for such a time as this, but read all of 1 Peter. It's really good, guys. And then 2 Peter 1, 20 and 21. That there's no secret revelation. There's no private interpretation. Okay. Let's go to the exposure and the revelation. Because they kind of tie together, guys. They really do. God's not the same as the world on the exposure. Let's start with the woman that was caught in adultery. Okay. According to law, kill her. Stoner to death. Guilty is charged. But what did Jesus do? He that had the first, no sin, let him cast the first stone. Everybody had to bolt and walk off. And then he said, woman, where are you accused? And I don't accuse you, but go and sin no more. Jesus is the light and he exposes it. But it's to set us free. We got this all kind of wrong a little bit, God. We got a lot of us got it wrong, God. It's not the exposure piece. And then the revelation is to show us things, to reveal who he really is. Peter, who do men say that I am? The son of the living God. Flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. He's revealing to Joel's army in his last day. <clears throat> so let's kind of stay in the exposure for just a minute and then we'll get into the revelation too because they're all really good. Expose the church, guys. We kind of got caught with our pants down, honestly. I'm sorry to be a little blunt about it. Because it's been twisted up into this sensationalized, egotistical, unfortunately money-driven, surreal world. This better-than mentality. The world's full of that, of course. But the church shouldn't be. He's calling his people out to turn. So that's why it got exposed. It was a virus, of course, the coronavirus, it just, but it exposed where we were really at. And the reason why we didn't have any power is because we were disconnected. That's why we need to repent and turn from our wicked ways and quit hiding that we Everything was on stage, above, better than mentality. Everybody wanted to be a prophet, an apostle, and a pope. Why? So that nobody could tell them what to do, including God. Sorry. But that's where Joel's army comes in. That's where Gideon's army comes in. Because he can get the glory. It's not going to be us with a mic and standing in front of millions of people. Maybe. Very few. Most of it's going to be just a street fight. One in the streets, guys. I'm going to put a plug in for a couple couple street preachers. Really. David Sellers. I think he's in Pensacola. Some dude I you know, just met on Facebook. 
Kind of like the Jesus police on military steroids, though he's really, really strong and to repent. And exposing, but he's also revealing. But that's the mantle that God gave him. And he can't change. And I don't think he will. I don't think he's, he's on target. Great messages, great heart. Another guy, Aaron Budrick. He's into the street ministry, feeding the people in the natural, but he feeds them in the spirit. He just goes out there and gets it done, guys. Noble Life Outreach Ministries in Dallas. Kent Peters, I think it's in Spokane, Washington. Forgive me, Kent, if I got this wrong. He's on to the abortion issue really strongly. And that is one of the biggest, That that's the biggest, well, it's not really big in little sins, but that's really what's plaguing America is the spirit of death. We've idolized it, guys. And the enemy wanted that. He sought to steal, kill, and destroy. <clears throat> and he, that's his mantle. Instead, we're kind of hiding behind this. That's my mask. That's my new fashion statement. The world has twisted up a virus to control it, manipulate it. But the spirit behind it is the enemy, Satan himself. Masks don't do anything, guys. Honestly, they really don't to I me. Mean, come on. Those cheap, cheesy masks. <clears throat> the spirit behind it, most of those people, is all about the abortion and killing everybody, babies. So it's like, okay, this is a little brutal, but I bet they're really glad that their parents were pro, pro-choice. Might not be here for this argument, for that argument. And if it's such a great thing, let's go into one of these clinics and, you know, film it. I don't want to see all that death and destruction either, guys. I'm just saying, let's get real, real here. But it's the exposure. Because sin has to be exposed so that God can be revealed, so that he can get the glory, no man. We're not gonna, that's where he's at, guys. He wants to reveal it to Joel's army. The marriage supper of the lamb, guys. He called the church, he called his people and they ignored him, they took it lightly, they just blew it off. Look what happened. That's when he went in the highways and the hedges and compelled his people to come in. Because he wants the glory, not your church, not your ministry, not who you are, not the red carpet Hollywood Christianity. <clears throat> He's going to reveal things. <clears throat> I think it's Corinthians, 1 Corinthians one eighteen. For the preaching of the cross is foolishness to those that are perishing, but to those that are saved is the power of to salvation. It talks about the foolish things that can take the foolish things that can find the wise, where's your wisdom? The wisdom from above is what he's going to give to his people so that we can't get the glory. People will know it wasn't us. <clears throat> he's exposing all these power trips. All these regular, you know, just crazy media and government people all this Haman stuff is going to get exposed, guys. It's coming out pretty fast and furious. But the reason why is because God's going to reveal his glory in this land. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Joel's army is coming forth. And the world's going to know that we've got it. We've got the goods. 
You're not going to get it, though, if you're not praying and seeking him and haven't turned and haven't done the repent piece. And said, like, man, God, because we kind of screwed it up, guys, honestly. But that's what the goodness of the gospel is. Grace and mercy is sufficient. We're still here. He's giving us the opportunity after opportunity and, ch and chance and glory and grace and mercy for a time and a season. You know, he created this day from the beginning of the foundation of the world. Don't you think he knew all this was going to happen? Of course. Mm. He's always onto something. God's got it under control. He's got a plan. His name was Jesus. Look at him when he went, when they were in the boat and the storm was coming and he was like, man, I'm going to, you know, we're going to the other side. He went to sleep. Look what he did with his son. Let him be sacrificed and at the cross and the crowd was just going crazy and even, you know, screaming and yelling like the world is now. Even some of the people in the world, Pilate was like, man, this, this guy didn't do anything. Why are you guys so nuts? That's kind of where we're at today, guys. Perfect example, the defunding of the police. I don't care if you're saved or not. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. <clears throat> Sorry. The killing of innocent people, yes, that needs to stop, of course. And the re you know, whatever we've got to try to do to get into that, into those weeds, of course. <laughs> but also that exposed, you know, somebody had put it on Facebook. You had 18 years to teach your kids not to loot, kill, and destroy, or just do all this stuff. So, you know. Maybe there's a re-education along the whole lines, guys, seriously. We can't throw the baby out with the bathwater over this one. But it's all being exposed. Not that so that we pollute our mind with all this garbage and just... It, it, I, I go to the city dump and... You can do a 360 and there's trash everywhere you can turn. It stinks, birds, smelly, bags of trash, boxes, all kinds of trash. And that's kind of where we're at in this world. We're not in the world, we're in the world, but not of the world. But the pollution that he wants us to get rid of is the sin that's all around us so that we can be that light, that he can reveal things to us so that we can be Joel's army, so that we can shine, but you're not gonna get it. Turn it on CNN and the YouTube, and this is the biggest stupid device. Honestly, it's a smartphone, but, but we're stupid using it so much, honestly. All you hear about is the election, the coronavirus, the sports, entertainment you don't hear about Jesus God the Holy Ghost and his word I'm telling us telling you guys as a people as a nation we need to turn but we need to turn back to him we need to get it in prayer seeking him we'll start at five in the morning that's why I'm putting that out there that's what the Lord told me to do put that out there but also these scriptures too that he gives me you know, it's, I'm getting up 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning, whatever time. You know, it's like, hang on, sometimes I'm tired. Honestly, it's like, man, Lord, okay. But I get up. I pray, have my coffee. Sit with my dog. And I have that time with the Lord. That's what he wants. The quietness, I don't turn on my phone, I don't turn on my computer. I, when I get up, the first thing I do is I, as soon as I get up, I start praying. I'm like, Lord, what do you want me to do first? 
because he's giving me dreams sometimes, scriptures sometimes, just different things. Do you want me to go read my Bible? Do you want me to do YouTube? Do you want me to, what do you want me to do first? Because it says that the Holy Ghost will lead, guide, direct us to all truths. It also says that his word would be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. There's direction, divine wisdom. So turn off everything and turn to God. Tune in to the Holy Ghost, to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. <clears throat> it's pretty awesome, guys, because nobody's around. That's why the 5 a.m. is so important, but all prayer is important all day long, all the time, constantly keeping your mind on, on, on the things of God, Christ. Your mind just saturated with the, with the word. But if we do it as a nation and we all do it, I'm not going to see you. I don't see my neighbor's house. I'm not peeking in their window. God sees all that, guys. So we need to just gather together at 5 a.m. We need to gather together the church. Churches are coming back, some of them. Some are coming back still doing the same thing and thinking they can just continue Great, fine, awesome, have at it. He's really wanting to build the church upon the rock. Not upon the rock band. Some dude on a guitar or whatever. And that's suddenly a move of God. Really? Sorry. Or on a stage, a platform, a preacher, minister, you know. It's like, that is part of it, but not really. That's where Joel's army's coming in, guys. We're all important to the kingdom of God. We all have a purpose and a plan and a, and a perfect will if we let it. But we're being misdirected by the world and tuning into the CNN and all this garbage and all this political Democrat versus Republican and all this other garbage. I'm not saying don't vote. I'm not saying any of that. Or get involved in it. But we're getting too involved in it, too steeped in it, too polluted in it, too diluted, polluted. And, you know, it's like that message I put out, where's Waldo, where's Jesus? What are we doing, guys? How are we going to be the light of the world when... We're wanting to talk trash. Guys, look at the 2016 presidential debates, okay? Or the debate process. And some really hateful stuff was said all around. Ugly, twisted up stuff. Of course, the media had a heyday with that because that, that, that's their... That, that's what they love. They're in, into that stuff. That's that's their world. The more twisted and just divisive that, that, that it is, the more that they just jump into it. Sorry, guys. Things are not going to change unless we change in turn. Back to him. Back to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. Guys, I love you. And he wants to expose things, but he wants to expose them. No, he wants to expose them. Because this is one of the messages that, that I've got out there, but he wants those secret places in our heart that he wants, he wants the dirtiest, darkest place, the rooms where we won't even go. Got a padlock on it, concrete, sealed bunker. It's like a nuclear silo or whatever, a missile silo or whatever. It's just, you don't even go there because you know it's not good. You ignore it. That's why nothing hidden. It's going to get exposed, but we can expose it to him. It doesn't have to be in the world so that you can beat to death over it. 
But it might if you don't listen and be and not obedient to God. That might come too. I don't know. But you could bring it to him at five in the morning in prayer. Clean it up. Get direction. He's going to reveal things to you. So that we can be the light. He wants us bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle, guys. It's time that we clean up our mantles. We'd be about our father's business. Love you guys. Um, he's just going to reveal things to you. I don't, you know, too much stuff was put on, emphasis was put on this power trip. Church was on, the government's on now, people are on. When the true power is a living Christ, the blood of the Lamb. Joel's army, guys, it's not going to be some big name preacher stealing the glory that never was his or hers. Sorry, it's God's Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. We better get it right. Love you guys. Um, let me hear your comments about your revelations and your things. That's the last thing I'm going to end with. I'm not going to be this chicken, mealy mouth preacher that turns my comments off. Because that's the problem. We haven't been. That's also the problem with the virtual reality church that's going on right now. There's not the accountability. That's why he wants us to gather together. But he wants us to do it right. <clears throat> Lot to this, guys. Love you guys. But let's let the exposure come. But it's unto something. It's unto the revelation. The things that he wants to show us and teach us. The wisdom from above. The revelation of the word. The knowledge and the truth. Revelation of who Jesus really is. Our value to God was his son. There's so many things, guys, that he wants to show us and teach us and reveal to us. The exposure is just kind of to clean this up. But we've been letting it pollute us and just picking up a bag of trash and garbage and looking at it in 18,000 different ways. It's trash, garbage, stinks. Take it out, throw it out, get it out of your mind. Because it's polluting us. It create, it's a demonic force. It creates a lot of anger and just all kinds of stuff that's not right. And God just wants it out of our lives. That's why it's the light's being shined on it. Not to dwell on it. To get it out of our lives. So that our mind can be on Christ. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who thought not robbery to be equal with God, but took on the form of God, even unto the, a bond servant, even unto a servant. It was God manifested in the flesh. He became a servant of all. Man, there's a lot of revelation guys out there, and he wants to do it for all of us. Every one of us. That are his children. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.